Okay. Um, I think this is good. I'll get closer. But, um, yeah. So I'm making a video, right? And I'm doing it when I'm kind of like pissed off, irritated, like fuck it, you know? And I really don't have too much to be like that upset over. It's just, I had a really like good dream. Well, it wasn't a good dream. It could have been a good dream, but then it just made me like wake up and just feel like irritated, you know? And some, dream, some dreams I just really adore and you know, they're a good break from day-to-day -day life, you know, because day-to-day life can just be like a lot of work. And, you know, you find pleasure, I guess, in the breaks that you take. But sometimes stuff just starts to be, you know, like, okay, we're here to do work. Earth seems to equal work. And that's cool. And, and I think that it'll get to a point where I get my way and I see like the progress that I like have in mind be made. Um, like progress is being made now, but it's not like how I pictured it looking, you know? Like I pictured being able to live in a pretty stable, quiet environment and be able to concentrate on, like, my art, you know, and a relatively simple life, you know, um, but things are way more complicated than that, and there's a whole lot of stuff to do every day and um, I'm still thankful for the way that things are but this all you know trails back to sometimes a dream just feels like like exactly what you would want you know it, could, it has the potential of being exactly what you want even if it's just for like that 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 night you know um but then in the dream it's like nothing I, the dream I had had that set up and then it was like completely zero percent what I wanted and then it was just like having a dream that I was like living in the same situation like you know around the same you know and it's like dude I get this in the nine to five like that's cool whatever you know, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that it's, I'm having an idea that things are better than I realize or more down the line than I realize or whatever. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, but that's, that's how it was. So I woke up today and I'm just like pissed off like one of the first notifications I get is Trump one of the last ones I got was Trump congratulating somebody on dancing with the stars which is like it's just so many gimmicks everywhere and it's just so stupid and you get to this point where like the leader of this place leader of this place you just want him to shut the fuck up like just so much stupidity comes out of his mouth and then it comes to like dancing with the stars and then it's like how can you take anything seriously you know like I read in the Bible that like a fourth of the earth was like given to Satan and I'm pretty much seeing that now I'm thinking it might be even like more because I think some cats got recruited but like some stuff is just so stupid but like you get to like it makes things like easier when um you know you you question or like you 
like have in mind like well if people would just be like this the earth would be like so much better and the world would be like so much better and it'd be easier but you realize like this is not like an easy place it's really beautiful and there's a lot of good stuff happening but it's definitely not like a walk in the park and if it's a walk in the park then excuse me cats just are on that path and that's cool too like to each his own um but yeah then i think with this dream situation like i had it in mind that it was one way and it wasn't like i had in mind like the situation was what i was understanding it to be but then it wasn't you know like at all and I think what it is is that today I woke up and I had like that notion and it was like I thought it was one way I thought things in the dream were one way and I think that a lot of dreams translate like very much into life so I had to kind of catch up and that's my fault you know like but overall you know I mean I guess I'm seeing that the dream was necessary and it, and it just had to do with like people in my life and it was like you know a person that I want around versus a person that I don't want around and what happens is that all I want is like this side over here right and I have in my mind sometimes in life like here and like you know real life that if I just get through or if we get through all the things that you know come our way like basically if I pass all the tests if I make all the right you know not guesses but like basically pass all the tests and that's another thing that kind of got me like when I realized in the dream that it was one person versus another the way I looked at it like was like well okay fine you know wasn't what I thought but still it's another test like I don't know I guess I'm seeing things like one way and I'm having trouble in life articulating like some of the ways that I feel and I feel as if they were known like a lot of progress would be made but I guess you know this is an example of how you need to understand somebody else's feelings maybe I'm just being like one-dimensional in my thinking but there's certain things that you know the things in my life that are challenging for me I have to be careful like not to let them get the best of me and I think that's another like aspect of like this world you know because I feel like the earth is like like a middle ground right and you can either take the elevator going up or you can take the elevator going like down <laughs> you know and you know I guess like that middle ground is like life right and you're born into like it this place like a mall you know like let's say you're just born like square in the middle of the mall and during life you can like go up to like the good stores or you can like go to the shitty stores and wind up like in the basement and then you just like get kicked out you know um or you get escorted out you know and no one wants no one wants that you know and so like you know but on, along that like line or that like that 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 path you have to like make like you have to be cool you know and you have to remember like to not be entitled and I have to remember not to be entitled I have to remember to like stay cool be patient 
understand other people's feelings. But sometimes I feel like my, my feelings aren't being understood. Like sometimes I feel like, you know, I just have to bite my tongue and wait it out. And usually I'm pro usually I wind up with my foot in my mouth, which I always put out there as like a safety disclaimer because it's just true. Um, then I just have to like wrap it up like just you know be okay with like things not going the way that you know I would want them to be I'm gonna get close am I looking at the camera it's kind of different on this one because like I had my other camera and I kind of liked how it looked to be like super close and like staring at the camera and like speaking this way it was a lot better than me like spending the whole time like staring at like myself um which makes things a lot less awkward you know it seems kind of vain and all of that but it's less awkward because when you're just like staring at the camera especially this closely like it's funny to feel, but it looks better later, you know? Um, so I'll just keep it here for a second. It's good practice. All else fails, I have a phone to practice with, you know, or a camera or something, you know? Because I like being on camera. I like electronics. I like filming. I like makeup. I like lighting. I like learning how to speak better on camera. I'm kind of rambling at this point I kind of feel like a zombie the way that I'm just like staring but it's very very good practice I remember growing up and getting like chased around the house by my sister with a camera and back in like you know I guess the early 90s late 80s that was like something weird but I think that put me into being in good training for being like comfortable around cameras Kind of, but I'm still awkward as fuck, you know, like I'm weird, you know, I ramble, I don't have like the cutest speaking voice, you know, there's little things. I think my makeup got better today. I do like the look. I was trying, I'm trying every, I got this new palette, right? So I'm trying all, all the colors. Sometimes it's a complete fail, man. And um, once in a while, like, I think I think with this is because you can actually see that there's some sort of like color on my face and it, I don't like feel like I look like a clown you know sometimes I do go to that clown realm and I'm learning about what lipsticks I would need I'm going into makeup right now so it just you know should I just like come like right here I think I'm throwing a little mini like camera tantrum <laughs> I don't know but, I don't know. I think I'm also hungry. I'm hungry, I'm tired. I didn't have the dream I wanted. Thought it was gonna be like a virtual like date, but it wasn't. <laughs> and then I just woke up just like, fuck man, you know? Fuck it. But it's really not like that. It's just, I got kind of bamboozled. So, but on that note, I'm looking at my hair. You know, I talk about the same shit all the time, but it still shocks me that cats can think my hair is a wig. It's not a fucking wig. Like, like, I mean, is that a, I guess that's a compliment, but to me it's like, when you see someone's scalp, like, what does that mean? I don't know. I'm just going off. Like, it's just stupid. I'm, I'm being stupid right now, and I'm really sorry. I really am sorry. But I get to a point where I just really want what I want and I get pissed off and I'm very immature sometimes and sometimes I go into a realm of I don't give a fuck really easily and really quickly and I shouldn't go there but I do and 
did I say I'm selfish yet? Because yes, sometimes, actually fundamentally, I think I am insanely selfish and I have to fight against like everything being about me. JT's Confessions. Now I'm gonna go eat some shit. Not some shit, like literally. I'm not gonna go like, oh. I'm gonna go eat some ramen. I'm gonna go eat some, these really nice little soy crackers. Yeah. They are fantastic, by the way. They're these little Japanese, like, rice crackers. They're a little puffed, crispy. But they have this little white frosting on them, but they're still, like, soy sauce flavored. And they are so good. Do I see? Oh, I see the popo outside. 5-0 is across the street. Oh, you see? See? Told you. <laughs> It's like 5-0 is cool to see as long as you don't hear that they're blasting. But anyway. <sighs> mm. I'm gonna go. Gonna go. <laughs> anyway, I will um, be on camera the next time. It shouldn't be too long. Bye.